Lagos is one of the most interesting cities in the world. This is Lagos. It's a signage that welcomes residents and visitors into this great city. Lagos is the center of excellence, creativity, and industry. Lagos is the commercial nerve center of Nigeria. Lagos is the melting pot of Nigeria and indeed the whole of Africa. Otherwise known as ECO, it has all it takes to be among the greatest cities in the world. Lagos has the brightest and best of Nigeria. It is a known fact that the late Afrobeat legend, Fela Anikulakbo Kuti, is probably the greatest export from Nigeria to the world besides oil. But there is a twist to this. While Nigerians travel to Johannesburg to see Nelson Mandela's house, which has been transformed into a museum, Fela's house was burnt down and his ruins demolished. Lagos is also a city that has hosted elite athletes in all sports, but can't boast of a football team despite having at least six stadiums. The Onikon Stadium in its glorious days played host to the great Pele, James Brown, and the legendary Nigerian football teams, Stationery Stores, Rangers International, IICC, and the mighty Jets of Jaws, among others. Great cities such as Liverpool, Manchester, Barcelona, Madrid, Milan, Munich, Paris are more popular today because of the football teams representing the cities and their fans across the world. The Lagos Stadium in Surulere was named after the great Teslim Balogun. But how many people today know the man whom the edifice is named after? Reactivating the stadiums and keeping them busy will get many people out of the unemployment market and have a spiral effect on other businesses relating to sports and tourism. With a stroke of Governor Babajide Songwolu's pen, that industry could change. Meanwhile, I welcome the decision of the federal government to hand over the National Theatre to the Bankers Committee to bring the national edifice back to life. My name is Ben Murray Bruce and I just want to make common sense.